What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought we'd do a little experiment. I recently purchased some solar panels for a solar project I plan on doing that I haven't completed yet and I figured I wonder what it would take to run my gaming setup. I assume a gaming setup like this would be pulling a ton of power so I figured let's find out. On my desk I have a PlayStation 4 connected to a 46 inch TV, three 24 inch monitors, the computer that's running this is a Ryzen 5 1600 with a GTX 1060. It has an EBGA 450 watt power supply. I also have my laptop charging and my audio interface plugged in. For my solar setup, I'm using two 255 watt solar panels connected to a Midnight Classic 150 MPPT charge controller, which is connected to the battery bank. Powering the computer system is an Accurate Tools 2500 watt pure sine wave power inverter, which is also connected to the battery bank, which is four 6 volt golf cart batteries ran in series parallel, making a 12 volt battery bank. I have an extension cord ran from the power inverter to the surge protector underneath my desk, which has everything connected to it. So as of right now, with the computer on, my three monitors, the audio interface, and my laptop charging, pretty much everything besides the PS4 and the TV, we're pulling 122 watts, which is much lower than I expected. I expected the computer to pull way more power than that. So anybody that thinks they need a six or 700 watt power supply, Unless you're running older components, you really don't need a power supply that big. So let's turn on the PS4 and the TV and see how much more power that takes. So with everything on my desk connected and turned on, we're pulling 272, 273 watts. So the PlayStation 4 and the TV adds about 150 watts. but we're still bringing in 450 watts so we're producing way more power than what we need right now so let's turn some programs on the computer to see if we can't pull some more power so right now I'm running the Valley benchmark I have a YouTube going on the right hand monitor and I have Yahoo's homepage opened on the left monitor and anybody who knows much about computers knows Yahoo really bogs down a computer so with three different programs running and everything on on my desk, let's see what kind of power we're pulling now. So with everything on, we're pulling around 430 watts, which is still very surprising because if you figure the TV and the PlayStation 4 takes 150 watts, that means the computer even turned on with three different programs is still only pulling roughly 250 watts. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it'd be an experiment just to see how much solar power it would take to run my gaming setup. Don't forget to like this video, leave your comments down below, and subscribe to see more videos. Thanks for watching. 